Hi everyone, tis I. I want to send a tough love message to parents out there who are estranged from their children who are still struggling, whether it's after a year, five years, ten years, etc. I just I want to put something into perspective and say it's it's time. It is natural for children to eventually move out, do their own thing, unless the child's dependent on a parent because they are emotionally, mentally, physically unable to care for themselves and need the parent to care for them for the rest of their lives. If your child is fully capable of moving out and being on their own, that's, that's the norm. It is sad when they break up with us, move out, and we don't know where they're at. Just the way it is. It's a breakup. No parent wants their child to leave this earth before them. We always think, I'm older, I'm going first. But in this case, what we have to consider in estrangement is we have to consider it a passing. Let's say your child passed naturally at the age of 20, 25, 30 on up. How would you handle that? You would have to have a funeral. You would have to deal with it. You'd have to go through the five stages of grief and most important, your child would not want you to stop living. All I know is that my children are strange. It's been going on for 13 years. I don't want that to be my identity. I don't want any of my traumas to be my identity. I want to treat this as a loss, as a death, as a passing. And I want to start living. And I did that. And when I, when I accepted their decision, I respected their wishes and I stopped reaching out. I simply started living again. It wasn't easy. I had to go back to what I enjoyed doing before I had kids. When I was younger, when I was a little girl, I had to start reading. And I took up ice skating and rollerblading. And I, there's a lot of things I started doing. Now I have hobbies and I have friends and I have a life. I'm remarried. I have a whole new house and myriad of animals. I pour myself into people that pour themselves into me. And I am blessed. So it's not that I don't miss my girls. I miss when they were little. But I don't miss the fact that they have chosen to disconnect. <laughs> and I've been denied the opportunity to get to know my grandchildren, to be a part of my daughter's labor and delivery, to see my grandchildren's first steps, to see my daughter get walked down the aisle. Those were situations most, most parents aren't denied of, except now that it's so mainstream. It just seems like it's the norm. So don't stop living. You have to grieve the passing of the relationship. And you have to get up and you have to start living again. So I hope this helps. It's not easy. But don't get stuck because once you get into, oh, what is quicksand? And you sit in the quicksand and it pulls you under slowly. Don't get stuck in the quicksand because you will slowly suffocate and die. And that's the last thing you need when you have another 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years to live. Gosh, I'm 53 and my grandma lived to 100. So could you imagine me wallowing in pity for the next 47 years? I, I, I don't think so either. So anyways, do something for yourself. Start living again. And you will start to have a much more fulfilling life. And you'll be able to use your pain and your trauma and your loss to help others. So that's all I've got. And I'll be back.